Loki, can I just ask you, I mean, the conditions in which people are living in Gaza, could you just describe them to us? So our infant mortality rate is 23%. That is over 20 times difference to what it is within the political unit of Israel. You're looking at 95% of the water is not fit for human consumption. You're looking at 70% of the population are refugees. You're looking at 90% of the children having PTSD. Um, you're talking about a place where the electricity, the sky, the water, the fuel, the food, the medical equipment, the medicine is controlled. What goes in and what goes out is controlled by Israel and Egypt, which is answerable to Israel. So therefore, you have a situation that, according to the 33rd Common Article of the Geneva Convention, would fit with collective punishment. That is a, uh, a, a war crime. And which was Israel, outlawed after 1945. Precisely. And Israel has practiced cruelty on an industrial scale as a status quo, as a constant against not only we're talking about Palestinians in Gaza, you know, under um, UN Resolution 194, Article 11, the Palestinians have the right to return home. They are deprived of that when they tried that from Gaza in 2018. You saw people being snipered down from journalists like Yasser Murtaja to medics like Razan Najjar, who, according to Rule 25 of the uh, International Committee of the Red Cross, targeting journalists, um, targeting medics, is is uh, is illegal. It shouldn't be done, and Israel did that. For example, Ibrahim Abu Thoreya. This was a, a gentleman who had lost his legs in a previous Israeli airstrike. He um, was on his wheelchair going towards the fence that Israel has erected between Gaza and the rest of uh, Palestine, and he was also sniped and killed. So what we're talking about is this extreme cruelty. Um, sometimes gets more spectacular. But what we're talking about now, unfortunately, is a population displacement being attempted by Israel, which is bigger than the Nakba of 1948. They are attempting to push two million Palestinians into Egypt.